season. We're teaming up 14 of the best and baddest carvers. There's some serious talent out there. These devilish all-star duos return to the field to carve, grace, and scare their way to victory. Wow. Was that your favorite part of the show when they're like, all right, everybody run towards the pumpkins? Was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 of the country's best carvers are going head to head in a brand new season of the Food Network's Outrageous Pumpkins. This season features an all star cast, including returning favorite Chicago artist Ethan Anderson, who's been on this show before and he's joining yeah. us again. Good morning, Ethan. Good to see you, buddy. Good morning, returning favorite. Yeah. That's we don't say that about a lot of people, <laughs> yeah. but we don't say you. that. Yeah, we rarely say now, that. Now, quick, give everybody a, a quick synopsis of how you discovered that you were a great pumpkin carver and how this all came to be, please. Well, I always thought I was a great pumpkin carver, but yeah. I had to go on TV and have them tell me yeah, in order to, you they know. validated You don't it, right? really know until, <laughs> yeah, until, until you're you have on all the cameras the on you. Yeah. When you were a kid, instead of like a rattle in a truck, did your parents hand you a pumpkin and, yeah. a, and an X-Acto knife? In the crib, yeah. you know, machete in one hand, <laughs> gourd in the other. Yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> all right. Well, I got to ask, how do you even know which pumpkin, like when you're standing at like the... Walmart or whatever, and you're yeah. looking at your pumpkin. How do you know it's a good one to pick? Let's well, start there. You want like a fresher pumpkin, so okay. you want to look at the stem is super important. So the huh. greener the stem, the better the pumpkin, ah, and heavier that. is better. Okay. The heavier the pumpkin, the thicker the wall, and the more you can do to it. Okay, good. That's a good starting point. So today we're doing a little dinosaur hatching out of an egg. That's my big, my big dream. Okay. And so you know, if you want to. If you want to plan ahead, you can use an expo marker okay. and draw your whatever your design is sure. on your, your rind beforehand. And because it's expo marker, you can wash it right off oh. with just a little bit of water when you're all done. And That's then no a good one strategy. E no one even knows. Yeah. No can one I, even knows you cheated. Can I ask a question? Are you so good at this at this point that you don't even you don't even need the dopey marker like a couple of morons like us? It would? depends what you're doing. If yeah. it's really precise, like but if it's more sculptural, you know, you're gonna mess it up Going anyway. Going by feel, yeah. You know. All, All right, right. Well, let's move down. What do we have next here? Of this course. is stage two. Stage two, after you've drawn it out and started carving, um, this is where I'm gonna sculpt my dinosaur eye. Okay. Um, but first step is you have to make kind of a blank canvas. And so as you can see, I've carved out all of these little etched lines. Yeah. And then you go in with a tool, this is a little loop tool, and you can scrape away. Ooh. And then start start to make your shapes. And a oh. real pro tip is these Scotch Bright pads that you get. They're, oh. you know, they're on the back of your your dish sponge or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you see, I don't know how well you can see, but the surface gets a little rough. It's a little furry. Yeah. But if you go into the Scotch Bright pad, it's like you're using like sandpaper on really? your pumpkin. Really, kind of oh. finishing it, it off. It really smooths everything out. Wow. If you want. All right. I'm yeah. kind of intrigued by a di you said a dinosaur. Like, I don't even know how to start with a dinosaur's head. Well, first, you have to know a lot about dinosaurs. Yeah, luckily, you know the dinosaur yeah this is where like. luckily yeah. I You've do. You've been doing all kinds <laughs> He's of research. He's a paleontologist, too, this kid. Yeah, hey. all right. Well, I don't want to slow things down with my dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to the next pumpkin, then. Right? Yeah, listen, I've been seeing the back end of this dinosaur egg for three minutes now. I can't yeah. wait for everybody else to see it. All right. So. This is the big final reveal. This Come is on. after I've done a little bit of work on it. You've done more than a little bit of work. Yeah. You've been. Come on. So as you can see, I've gone and I've sculpted all the little scales. I put a little potato highlight for the eye. I, oh, like I noticed that. Yeah. that. We were talking yeah, about we, the potato we, highlight. In the green room, we were talking yeah. about if you, it. If you put a little lemon juice on your potato, then it'll stay, and then it won't go brown. Keep it a nice, bright white highlight. This guy, hey. come on. Hey, I'm this a guy, pro. What? It's unbelievable. You professional pumpkin carver. Damn right. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the best <laughs> I've ever met. Hey, listen, outrageous pumpkins, all stars, not just regular outrageous pumpkins. These are the all stars of pumpkins, is on the Food Network. 50 grand up for grabs. You can I'm also check out Ethan. more at ethanandersonstudio.com or follow him on social media. Ethan, thanks for joining us. Ethan, you're the you best. Again, buddy. Yeah, Thank always you. a pleasure. Glad